Hello everyone, welcome back to Graphiculator YouTube channel. Today we are joined with an Adobe Illustrator tutorial. I have planned to start an Adobe Illustrator basic tutorial series. This is the first video of that tutorial series. Today I'm going to explain about offset paths in Adobe Illustrator. Okay let's start this. I have opened Adobe Illustrator in my PC. And also note that I'm using Illustrator 2020 version. Go to the toolbox and take rectangle tool. You can press M key in your keyboard to get this tool. And draw a square at the middle of the artboard. You can press and hold shift key to draw a perfect square. Then take selection tool from toolbox. You can press V key in keyboard to get this tool. Now I'm going to fill this object in green color. Select the object and go to the color palette. Then I will change color to green. I will leave outline as it is. Now, there are a couple of ways to create this offset path in Illustrator. Let's check one by one. Let's see the first one. Select the object, and go to the object. Path. Offset path. It will give you a small window like this. There are some options in this to related to the offset path. Let's turn on the preview like this. And go to the offset. This means the size of the offset path you need to create. At the moment it is 8 mm. Which means that offset path will be place 8 mm outside from the square we have already drawn. We can change this value as we need. I will put 4 mm in here. It will reduce the size of the offset path. And here is a tip. You can highlight the value here, and then press up arrow key in keyboard to increase the value. Press down arrow key to decrease the value. Also look at this, when offset value goes to a minus value, then offset path moves to inside of the selected object. We can create inside offset paths like this. Ok, let's keep this value as 4 mm for now. Then see the second option in this window which is, Joins. This means how the corners of offset path need to create. There are three options in this as, Miter, Round and Bevel. Miter means sharp edges like in this current object. Let's change this to, Round. Now you can see that all corners become round like you see here. And last one is bevel, in this option, when we change joins to bevel, then all corners become flat like this. And last option is, miter limit. You already know what is the miter corners now. Let's see what is the miter limit means. Let's just cancel this for now. I'm going back to toolbox to take pen tool. We can get this by pressing P key in keyboard. Then I'll draw a triangle shape with a one sharp point like this. Okay. Now I'll take selection tool back, and go to object, path, offset path same as before. You can now see the same window which you saw earlier. And I will change offset to 4 mm, and joins to miter, and miter limit to 4. Let's turn on the preview. Hear what has happened. You can see that bottom two corners are looks correct in in this offset path. But the point at the top looks like it flat. It should be sharp like this. We can fix this by changing miter limit. Let's increase the miter limit values to see what happen. I will select the miter limit value and press up arrow key to increase the value. Now you can see that point become sharp when miter limit is 8. This depend on the angle of the corners in each objects. We can alter the miter limit value until you get corners correct. So, this is what miter limit do in offset paths. Ok, let's delete this shape for now. I'm going back to the square shape which we created earlier. I will create an offset path around this object as we did before. Go to the object. Path. Offset path. Then click OK to apply the offset path. If you need to create multiple offset paths, then you will have to repeat this process. But, there is another easy way to do this. If you are using latest version of Illustrator, then you will have this properties panel in your workspace. There is a button for offset path in this properties panel. You can directly add an offset path by clicking on this button other than go through the menu. If you can't see this properties panel, then you can get this by going to windows and properties. 
So this is another way to create an offset path. Ok, now you can see that there are a couple of offset paths are around the object. And all these offset paths are individual objects like this. You can change colors in these as you need. And there is a downside also in these offset paths. Let me show you, I'm going back to the toolbox and and take direct selection tool. You can get this by pressing A in keyboard. And, now I'm going to change the shape of the original object I created. I will select this top anchor points and drag it to inward like this. But here is what happened. All other offsets paths not moving with the original object because those are separate objects. Let's undo this by pressing Ctrl Z, Command Z on Mac. And we can do something like this. We can select all the top anchor points of the offset paths and move inward. This will move all offset paths at once. But it destroyed the offset proportion. Let's undo this again. Now I will delete all these offset paths which I created. I will show you one way to create these offset paths so those linked with the original object. Let's select this object, and you can see this appearance panel over here. We need this appearance panel to create these offset paths. If you can't see this in your workspace, then go to the windows and click on appearance or you can press Shift F6 to get this appearance panel. OK, then select the object, and go to the appearance panel. And click on the fill layer in appearance panel. We need to create one more fill layer to add this offset path. Then go to the bottom of the appearance panel and click on add new fill icon. It will create another fill layer as you can see in appearance panel. Now select the bottom fill layer and go to the effect path offset path. Then you will get the same offset path window which we saw earlier. But there is a different in here, I will show you. I will turn on the preview and set offset to 4 mm. Now see what has happened here. This offset path has been applied to the object as an effect. Because we created it by going through the effect menu. And also note that you can get this same effect menu by clicking this effect icon at the bottom of the appearance panel. We can turn on or off this offset path by clicking on this eye icon here. And you can change the color of the offset path by selecting the fill layer. OK. Now if you need to have multiple offset paths for this object, then you will have to duplicate the fill layers. Let me show you how to do that. Select the object. And go to the appearance panel. Click and hold the layer you created for first offset path. And drag and drop to the icon called Duplicate Selected Item at the bottom of the appearance panel. It will duplicate the fill layer with offset path. Select the bottom layer and click on the offset path effect. It will open up the option window. Now we need to double the size of offset path to show it outward the first offset path. Current offset path created 4 mm from the original object, then second one should be 8 mm. You can type 8 mm in here or you can type like 4 mm multiple by 2. Illustrator will do the maths. Then click OK. Now select the bottom layer and I will change the color of this offset path. Then I will create third offset path also by dragging this fill layer to the duplicate selected item. And it will create the third offset path. Select the bottom layer and click again on the offset path effect to edit the offset path. Now this third offset path need to be 12 mm. So I can say like 8 mm plus 4 mm. And then I will change the colors in this third offset path also. You can now see that there are three offset paths shows in appearance panel. Now I'm going to check whether these are linked together. Go to the toolbox and take direct selection tool. And select this top anchor point of the original object and move it like this. Now you can see that all offset paths have been linked together and those also moves with original object without distorting the offset proportion. Ok, that's it for today, hope you have learned something new. Also you may know that other easy ways to do this. So please leave a comment below and share your knowledge with others.
and, do you know how to create an offset path around a text, without converting to curves? I will show this in next tutorial. Until then stay tuned with us. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. Like us on Facebook page, and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. See you in next tutorial. Stay safe.